as a person, but in favor of SDOE. This is not a victory for myself. This is a victory for SDOE. Because I'd like to believe that um, the president has chosen what he feels like and we know the way that should be right for SDME. Um, before this call, I actually had a management committee meeting and I told my people there should be no voting. We should all be magnanimous in this decision. Sa totoo lang, I don't like congratulations. I, it, it makes me cringe every time I hear congratulations. Because for me, this is just more hard work. No more excuses. We cannot say, Tsaka na lang, pag-alis niya na. Ito na yun. So we have to buckle down to work. Sabi nga ni Hodge, ako ang taga-utos ko yung taga-dalaw. So that will not change. And I expect 100% put forward, if not more. And I, I think by this time, you know how I work. And yes, there will be eight, uh, eight days in a week right now, starting today. And um, I ask you, I cannot do this alone. I can, I will provide you more on the Compass leadership and vision. But at the end of the day, this is something that cannot be done by one single person. Kanda lang po ang dala ko. The rest is all up to you. So, sabi nga po ng, dahil dubu, dahil ang dubu ko ay asuhan, Sabi po ni Bu, bawat oras sama-sama. However, since millennials na tayo, <laughs> I'd like to say hashtag stronger together. So we have to work together to make this happen. Um, when I first got this position in January, you can imagine the turmoil of the ACOs on whether or not I would be my cushy child. And kung natatandaan nyo, I didn't show up here. Everybody knew I was administrator by December 21. And I didn't show up here until January 11. And I showed position by January 15. Now I will tell you why. I have kept it a secret for so long. But you know why? I was afraid. I didn't know if I was hungry. And it didn't help that a lot of people from your ranks question my capability to be. All of you, some of you, a few of you actually said, Ano naman ang alam niya? And if I can be administrator. I didn't want to come here having that fear, that pit in my stomach, questioning how I can do it. I had to gather myself, ask prayers from the Lord, and make sure that none of you will smell the fear in my stomach. And that took me a couple of weeks. And by the time I got here, I had the guts of steel and the balls bigger than all of you. Because I think that's the thing that's needed in this place to make it work. When I learned of my official appointment last night, I had no fear. None at all. Because I've been here. It was really just a matter of time. And um, I spoke Early this morning, I spoke to my former boss, and I said, this is it. And I told him, because he called, she calls me an app, and I told him, Mom, don't worry about me anymore. I have no regrets. I'm happy to be this with you. And the only thing that can make this perfect is if my former boss is here with you. So I've never regretted taking this job, and I know I will be very happy just being here. Uh, being your administrator, and at the same time, chairperson. Um, with all these things that's happened um, in, in June and July, um, and all the overwhelming support that I got from you guys, um, when I first got appointed here, I questioned why me. Um, po sa nakaalam na mas story ang kaulit I did not ask for this job. And in fact, in November, no kumilit na yung pangalan ko, I even went to Manawa with my family, na please lang, huwag niyo po ako kaya. But then it happened. And my decision to come over, aside from coming home, is really about, the universe must be telling me something with all that odds against me being appointed because I have no political backing. I was a chief of staff of Senator Marlowe as a 
So who would have thought? So I thought the universe must have been there, must be telling me something. And when all this happened, I figured this is, must be the reason why the universe put me here. Because if it was any other person, the SPME employees would not have rallied beside, would have had rallied behind that person. To me, that was my purpose. My purpose is to unite all of you together. And um, because SPME has been cracked by many years of political appointees, by many years of forgetting what Malasaki is all about. I remember once told me, she said in a speech uh, on my birthday. By the way, that was my very first birthday celebration. Puri po po naray ko. Ito yung happy birthday celebration sa mga ibang ng puyo. And my very first birthday celebration on my whole, well, sanabi na ni Lisa, okay, so wala na pa mga tumukas. In my whole 48 years of existence, once, what once, na tumaka sa akin si once was, the thing that I want back is being back to me. Because we forgot the basics. The basics of caring for each other and the basics for caring for SDMA. Yung po ang gusto mong dalhin na, patuloy kong dalhin ang magmalasakit. Kasi kung magmamalasakit tayo, we will forget all our personal agenda and just take care of each other and take care of SDMA. Hindi ko na po ito pakakabayan kasi nga, kami na, it's past my mother's bedtime. But, um, Again, I would like to thank every, each and every one of you, the people who I love the most are you, the directors who support me and rally behind me, the local community, the investors, the employees. I do not even want to call the volunteers anymore because the volunteers are all of us now. We don't have to be the ones from 1992. The volunteers are everyone who stepped forward. Sabi nga ni Kenneth, it's a fight for giving justice. It's a fight for justice between good and evil. And good has for you. So you can also find